welcome to America's first and only daily talk show for and about the Filipinos, where today we are going to celebrate yet another victory for the Filipinos. That's right. The Noys are winning from Manny Pacquiao over Sugar Shane mostly to Jericho Rosales at the Newport Beach Film Festival to Quark Henares for the LA Asian Pacific Film Festival. Now, you know, for another film has uh, won or garnered awards or recognition at Tribeca Film Festival. We're going to be talking about that right about now to ating the Palace Report. <laughs> Hi, Ruben. I missed you. Welcome to Kababayan, LA. Same here, Janelle. Kamusta na? Kamusta? Ano mo, Ruben? I know you're very busy, so let's get right down to business. We would like to laud uh, Give Up Tomorrow, which is a film that won two awards at the Tribeca Film Festival. Yes, uh, I think, uh, it's about uh, the trial of Pacola Ranyaga who was convicted along with six others for the rape and murder of uh, two daughters, of two sisters, rather. And it is a documentary. Uh, what's, uh, what's impressive about this, uh, Ruben, is this is their first film. Itong si Collins, Michael Collins, at si Marty Sehuko as producer. Yes, uh, si Marty is an um, incidentally brother ni Miguel uh, Sehuko, the award-winning novelist. And the parang labor of love nilo did they, it took them six years, very frustrating years, to film the trials of Paco and the six others. And uh daw gusto nila mag-quit kasi maraming struggles. Pero somehow they made it and they won the audience award at the Tribeca. So nanalo sila ng $25,000 and also a special jury mansion prize. And Ruben, how big is this? How big is a Filipino-made film uh, uh, making it first at Tribeca, being included, and then now winning pa some citations? It's quite big because I uh, remember this is a film festival founded by Robert De Niro, among others. And there were quite uh, a number of good films in the festival, but uh, audiences were, sta were uh, not clapping down, applauding, and, and giving a standing ovation to the film. So it's, it's, I think it's quite a, made a, quite a big impact. And also Yoko Ono uh, already also, uh, what do you call this, appreciates the film. She posted uh, uh, something on her blog. Yeah, she has a blog, imaginepeace.com, and she said that film is a must-see. Ayan. Ruben, what's next for these uh, filmmakers? Para kay Marty at para kay uh, Michael. Well, it's, uh, I guess, because they're not paying on it, but they've been invited to uh, several other festivals, so they're going to be busy uh, doing the festival circuit. And what are the chances that we're going to see this documentary here in LA? Well, I'm sure it's going to come, find our way here. So uh, let's uh, keep, keep our fingers crossed. I'm sure there will be better, bigger things. Uh, that's going to happen to this film. All right. And definitely, people are going to come out, go out and see Pirates of the Caribbean 3. At ito na naman, syempre, mga kabarkada mo sa Hollywood, no? You got to talk to Johnny Depp as well. Kamusta na siya? Hindi <laughs> naman. Uh, magandang buhok kayo ni Johnny kasi nagpa-exigion siya ng buhok for a new film, uh, Dark Shadows. At saka for the first time nung interview namin siya ni Ro niya, yung Steve's niya, uh, all the way to his biceps. So for the first time nakita namin, dami palang tattoos ni uh, Johnny Depp sa kanyang arms. And those are not merely body art, no? May mga significance yung bawat tattoo sa kanyang yeah. arms. Yes, kasi para daw mga each one is a reminder of his journey. So nandun ang uh, pinapatado niya ang mother niya, who was a waitress in uh, Holiday Inn sa Kentucky. So may uh, tattoo of the mother as a waitress, grandfather niya, at saka uh, share crazy kasi as a tribute to his uh, Indian heritage and also his daughter Lily tapos yung anak niya si ja uh, Jack Ayan, si Lily Rose is 11 and si Jack is 9 years old uh, dalawa ang anak ni Johnny Depp but what is this I'm hearing? He wants a third one? <laughs> yes, <laughs> dahil uh, dahil si Penelope Cruz is also in the movie was pregnant during the filming at nanganak na nga ang pangalan Leo with uh, anak niya ito with Javier at pag nakikita daw niya sila because sometimes they go to his house or he, he goes to their house Nakikita niya yung tatlo ay nainggit daw siya na gusto rin niya magkaanak ulit. <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> Aside from propagating, ano pang naiisip niya pag nakakatrabaho niya si uh, Penelope Cruz because they were together filming Blow? Yes. Uh, uh, mal maloko daw ito nga. Of course, we know maloko si Johnny that. So maraming kalokohan daw si Johnny. Sometimes may rin daw sang sina. It took them two hours to finish because well, they couldn't uh, stop laughing kasi maraming uh, jokes si Johnny. Si Johnny. Okay. And I saw you on the red carpet of the premiere of Pirates of the Caribbean 3 sa <laughs> Disneyland. Ano naman ang masasabi mo tungkol sa movie? Yeah, it was entertaining kasi lalo na uh, it's a good idea to cast uh, Penelope kasi parang 
Ang mahirap sa bayan si Johnny, you know, he's a very charismatic actor. Pero lumaban si Penelope sa kanya. So, uh, they're a good match. And uh, speaking of the premiere, I think that was the longest uh, premiere carpet we ever walked on. <laughs> uh, a, 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 pero black carpet instead of the red carpet. Black carpet. All right. So, we have to see this movie out. Ruben, what are you working on for your next column sa uh, Philippine Daily Inquirer? Well, to, today nga lumabas on my column on Inquirer.net on Johnny.deb. And tomorrow, see our interview with uh, Darren Chris. Ayan. All right. So, uh, abangan namin yung mga columns mo before we see you next week. For now, thank you so much and more power to you. Salamat to now. If you want to get more inside scoop on Hollywood, abangan yung po ang mga columns ni uh, Ruben Nepales sa Inquirer.net. It's called Only in Hollywood. Meanwhile, dito sa Kapabayan LA, magbabalik pa po kami. Don't go away.